Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration. <laughs> Did he really say that? <laughs> Hold on. For Hollywood Foreign Press Association and DCP rights. Okay, all right. So, um, okay. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration. And Topher. I think I've done a video with about Topher before. I think one video, but it's been a long time, so I'm not too familiar. And Stephen James, never heard of him. This is my first time, so we'll see. Holy. Say, I ain't making deals with the devil, boy, I'm holy. Saw me on a bell, boy, why y'all acting like y'all know me? I done been there, done that, so don't treat me like the old me. Y'all can keep the distance, now you only get the ghost to me. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy, I'm holy. I like this. I like that hook. Uh, yeah, it resonates. I feel like some guitar now or something like that. But yeah, that's dope. Um, it popped off with the hook. Uh, a lot of these uh, independent artists like to just start rapping, and then the hook comes later. Uh, every now and then they'll do the hook first, but sometimes it's good to have the hook first, especially if you know you got a tight hook. So I think uh, you know, I got that as far as the messaging goes. It's basically like a shout out to you know people letting them know, hey, look, man, I'm I'm walking on the side of God. I'm not with the evil. I'm not with Satan, and you know that. Old stuff that I used to do might have been evil, but I'm a different me now. Uh, based on what I heard, let's get it. Treat me like the old me. Y'all can keep the distance now. You only get the ghost of me. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy. I'm holy. Never thought that's really what you got, but the first you play to feel lonely. So we're down on more than I can count. Can't find a way out. Niggas killing me slowly. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy. I'm holy, holy, no. All right, so that second part, yeah, it was all right. I need to catch that. I'm going to rewind around 20 seconds to try to hear everything he said because it kind of just flew past me. Uh, but. Make a count change for the way out and it's killing me slowly. I am making deals with the devil, boy. I'm holy, holy, no. With it. I ain't making no deal with it. Lucifer always be trying to whisper in my ear with it. Saying I can have anything in the flesh if I sell it my soul and let him control the rest. <laughs> I love Burda's flow, bro. I love it, bro. Bro, Burda could be a black rapper, Hispanic rapper. And like, if you never saw his face, you would like it wouldn't matter what color he was, just his his style, his flow is something I appreciate. But also, like, I'm vibing with the visuals of like playing different mainstream artists and celebrities in Hollywood. Uh, I'm not necessarily too keen or too hip to each individual person that is showing and how they relate to like Satan or evil. It may be a general sense of the industry itself or fame itself uh, causes people to basically sell a soul in order to get it. It could be, um, and not necessarily putting a shout out to any one particular person that's showing up on screen, but it could be intentional. I'm not sure. No, yeah, I say deal with it. I ain't making no deal with it. Lucifer always be trying to whisper in my ear with it, saying I can have anything in the flesh if I sell it my soul and let them control the rest. I can attest to the test and the temptation for the fame they attain. Your favorites embraced it. This is entertainment. What an entertainment. Hate this. Satanic shh, with the A list. Yeah, that's something. Oh God, even watching it in this video of like the little Nas X and the dancing naked or whatever is just like too much, bro. Like I didn't need to see that. I didn't need to see that. But like, as far as the bars go lyrically, my boy Burden is eating and I'm resonating with the message of, you know, staying away from selling your soul and, you know, sacrificing what's important for fame and glory. I can get with that message. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, as far as the, the, theological or the religious aspect of it. I can speak from the Christian perspective um, based on my childhood and being raised as a Christian. Um, the idea of people being able to sell their soul to the devil in order to gain worldly possessions is something that goes back centuries. And a lot of times these big time artists or these big time actors or celebrities in general will play with the imagery of Satan or play with like certain topics that veer in the dark side that's anti-cultural or anti-religious and is definitely being made clear where Bernard stands on this and how he's speaking on it. 
embraced it. This is entertainment. What an entertainment. Hate this. Satanic shh with the A list. Yeah, that's something I can never become. If I was gonna do it, it'd already be done. I was cleansed by the blood and the death of the sun. I give you the gospel, you should listen for one. Yeah, I know I'm a sinner getting better slowly. I don't really a believer. I don't keep a low key. No need said. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy. Yo, that transition right there was fire. But yo, Burden just murdered that, bro. Burden, that verse was fire. I, I'm loving the beat. I am loving the beat. Like, if you hating on this song, look, as no matter what your religious beliefs are, like the sound of just the flow of it all and that transition, golden, priceless. Really a believer, I don't keep a low key, no need said. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy, I'm holy. Saw me on the bell, boy, why y'all acting like y'all know me? I done been there, done that, so don't treat me like the old me. Y'all keep been there, done that, so don't treat me like the old me. I can respect that. I can respect that. Like, uh, in life, a lot of times you're going to find yourself uh, looking back on things that you've done in the past. And believe it or not, that's a different you. Like you said, that's an old you because as you grow, as you get older, you get wiser. You go through some things, you learn from it, and you start to alter your behavior and start to have a, a more fully understandable grasp on reality and consequences and what's right versus what's wrong. And I, I can really just resonate with that um, heavily. And I'm somebody who went through that same thing, as many of you probably have. So I can see why a lot of y'all probably bobbing y'all head like I'm vibing with this hard. Boy, boy, I'm holy. Saw me on the field, boy, why y'all acting like y'all know me? I done been there, done that, so don't treat me like the old me. All right, let me look at these pictures. All right, I see uh, Kanye West. I see, like, I don't know all of these people, but I do know Kanye West, Adam Sandler, uh... Iron Man, I'm, I'm going to call him Iron Man. They even got the Pope up there. <laughs> John Kerry, I believe that is. Um, and I know some of these actors, but I can't think of their names exactly right now. But I think I see George Bush at the very bottom right there. Uh, that's uh, King Charles. I, look, if y'all drop the names down there. Like, if I'm whoever I miss, just drop the name down there. Y'all know me. I done been there, done that, so don't treat me like the old me. Y'all can keep the distance, now you only get the ghost of me. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy, I'm holy. Never thought that's really what you hey, did. He did it. <laughs> All right, let me give this uh, guy right here, Stephen James, a chance. Uh, he's singing. The singing is pretty good. At first, I was a little skeptical, but like it really just grew on me really fast, like really fast. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy, I'm holy. Never thought that's really what you got, but the first you play to feel lonely. Shoot down on more than I can count, can't run away out, and it's killing me slowly. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy, I'm holy. Yo, they got uh, Eminem with the devil horns. Oh, man. Like, they took some time and really edited this video. They really wanted to make a um, point. I saw, um, what was her name? Um... Boy, y'all gonna beat me up. Um, you know the the pop artist, uh, Rihanna. Rihanna. Y'all probably like, yo, Rihanna. Look, names ain't coming to me, so it is what it is. Let me slowly. I am making deals with the devil, boy. I'm holy, holy. No. Yes, Come on down to the Baba Bell. Power of the sun, try to make a all melt. Only God knows about the pain that I felt. Now I'm living life by the cars that I wasn't dealt. Never been a <laughs> Okay, okay. Tofa jumping in here, keeping up, right? Like I said, I did one video of a reaction to Tofa. I saw, I'm not too familiar with all of his work. And I was curious, like, when he came in, was he going to keep up with the pace and uh, the vibe of it all? And it seems like that's exactly what he's going to do. Only God knows about the pain that I felt. Now I'm living life by the cars that I wasn't dealt. Never Ooh. been the same since I found Jesus. Turn me around and he don't leave us. Shout out the most high going to keep us. Through the valley of death going to lead us. I switched up good. Don't look a thing like I should. Bury all the bad that I could. Naked and afraid how I stood till I put the hole on my God on like a true warrior really would. Yo, 10 seconds. Don't lead us. I switched up good. Don't look at I switched up good. You know what I'm saying? Most high going to keep us. Through the valley of death going to lead us. I switched up good. Don't look at things like I should. Bury all the bad that I could. Bury all the bad that I could. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Respect. Respect on that, right? 
it's one thing to brag about like bad things you've done. It's another thing to like speak on the good thing that you've done, right? Uh, it's, it's two different types of good things you can do. One good thing is like, oh, I help people or I changed my life and did all of these things. And that's the level of like, okay, you actually went out to the world and tried to make a difference. And the other type of good is you just stopped doing bad stuff, right? Some people, and that's not really something to brag on because you sh- you shouldn't be doing bad stuff, right? And he's more speaking on the, on, on the level of, hey, you know, it wasn't just enough to do the bury the past. It wasn't enough. It, like you had to actually put in the work. At least that's what I'm getting from. Don't leave the south, switched up good. Don't look a thing like I should. Bury all the bad that I could. Naked in the braid, how stood till I put the hole on my god on like a true warrior really would. So holy, devil around here tread slowly. Wanna come and test my face? Yeah, I ain't making deals with the devil, boy. I'm holy. Saw me on the billboard. Why y'all acting like y'all know me? <laughs> Saw me on the billboard. Why y'all acting like y'all know me, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny right but we kind of know y'all you know at least based through y'all music you'll never get 100 percent of everybody i don't even think most people give 100 percent to themselves there are parts of everybody that you ignore or you pretend like it don't exist or mainly you hide it sometimes you hide it so well that you forget it's a part of you I done been there, done that, so don't treat me like the old me. Y'all can keep the distance, now you only get the ghost to me. I ain't making deals with the devil, boy, I'm holy. Never thought that's really what you got, but the price you pay to feel lonely. Y'all know more than I can count, can't find a way out, niggas killing me slowly. Yeah, this part where he started going fast at the very beginning, I thought that that was like him doing his own thing that wasn't going to come back, but it's actually a part of the hook. So it makes sense. Like, even then, if I didn't catch it at the very beginning, I went back and listened to it, but I should have just kept going because now that I'm listening to it, you catch on to everything that he's saying. So I really vibe with this song, and you got the Hobby Lobby ranking coming, y'all. It's coming. If y'all like this song, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. That way I know y'all vibing with it just as much as I am. Yeah, he sung that. He sung that. No amount of fame, material items, or money could ever be worth my soul. What profit the man to gain the whole world but lose his soul, right? That's what the Bible says. Yo, but I thought that was pretty dope. Like, now I got to get my ranking, y'all. I got to get my ranking. Uh, y'all going to get y'all have a lot of ranking. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with me down in the comment section. All right, when it came to the bars, though, I thought the bars were spot on. I think that Burden did a very good job. Topher did a great job. Both of those guys were literally on point with their, with their verses. I think that the singing was amazing. I think that they did a great job with the hook. I honestly think that that song, Holy, was fire. It was really fire. Lyrically wise, all across the board, it was a great combination. All three of these guys worked very well together. And I don't know who I did it was to come together to do this, but kudos to them. I'm going to give that uh, the bars on this one. I'm going to give that one a 14 out of 10. Really broke the scale for me. I thought it was amazing. When it came to the beat, that beat, pure fire. It wasn't just smoke. It was fire. And it had the whole place lit. And not in Let's say it was holy fire instead of fire like from the pits of hell, just for the sake of the the name of the song. But like it it, it was uh, heavenly fiery. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to give that one also. Uh, the beat twelve out of ten broke the scale for me. That I had to think on it really hard. Like I wanted to make sure I did a service, but I also didn't like you know overhype it. When it came to the actual visuals. They put a lot of work into the visuals. When I first started watching it, I was like, oh, it seems a little choppy. I don't kind of like the whole grain of it all. But it gave you the vibe of, you know, darkness. Like, even though the song was called Holy, it was really meant to reveal the darkness of fame. And they did a very good job just cutting and editing and putting in the right images and imagery behind them making the music and it kind of faded in and out from them. I thought they put a lot of work into it. I thought it was really good, even though mainly they were kind of like in the church, but even though the cutaways and the camera work all worked perfectly fine, I'm giving that one a 14 out of 10. 
overall ranking for for the song, I have to give it my personal opinion a thirteen point five out of ten. Y'all, let me know if y'all agree or disagree. Peace and glory, everybody. Be peaceful and be great. Until next time, I'm out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. If you would like to get access to exclusive content, consider becoming a member or a patron at patreon.com slash the Hobby Lobby. You can also continue the conversation by joining the Hobby Lobby Discord. You can find all the links in the description below.